We welcome back to the coffee group today Chantal and Shirley from Renew Your Mind. They teach mindful parenting courses in Auckland. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Now, let's talk a little bit about mindful parenting. There are lots of different approaches to parenting, isn't there? So why mindful? Uh, let's, talk, let's start with you, Chantal. Well, for us, it's just something that has naturally developed. Um, I developed a mindfulness program and, and Shirley started working with me and we started applying the techniques to our parenting and, and found that it was a made a big change. And then from that, we developed the mindful parenting course. So it happened quite naturally. So what does mindful parenting actually mean? There's two main elements to it. The first one is connection. Um, connecting with your children unconditionally. The second element is boundaries, consistent healthy boundaries that don't shift depending on your mood or your stress levels. Okay, that can be a tough thing for parents actually. Absolutely. So has it changed your approach to parenting? Let's start with you, Shirley. Yeah, I mean it really has. I, um, I decided to be a stay-home mum until um, the kids were at school thinking it was going to give this, them this great start. But to be honest, I raced around, tried to do more jobs than I possibly could, didn't get great time with the kids. And I remember looking forward to their nap or their bedtime pretty much every day and thinking, I don't think this is how it's supposed to be. And then when I started Mindful Parenting, I, um, I slowed down a bit and I deepened my connection with each of the kids and ended up with more time as well to myself. So for me, that connection of, uh, that combination of boundaries and connection has been a really fabulous change. Well, that's the thing too, isn't it? A lot of parents do feel that way. They, are look, they look forward to the naps. They mm. look forward to those timeouts because it, parenting is a, it's a, it's a full-on stressful job at times. Very rewarding, but there's a lot of work involved. Absolutely. How did it change your approach, Chantal? Well, I've been a working mum, even, even uh, started working when my children were quite young. So the biggest change for me was to stop racing around in a way, just like Shirley said, but just juggling work and home and wanting to do both well. I often felt like my children were just getting in the way of me getting everything done and, and doing it well. Um, and now I find that I do a lot more stuff with them. So it's not that I'm playing and then doing housework or I'm, I'm playing with them and then going to work. I involve them in what I'm doing. Um, and also the more consistent boundaries has been a big thing for me. I find the connection bit comes quite natural, but the boundaries is more of a challenge for me to keep them consistent and, and to stick with them. But since I've been doing that more and more consistently, it really feels like I'm in charge mm. and I'm not walking on eggshells anymore to keep the tantrums at bay and to keep everyone happy. And that's what, sort of, what sort of boundaries are we talking about? What have you said? Ah, uh, very, I mean, it, it varies, but for example, what words we don't allow in the house, no, no hitting, no throwing with toys, um, the amount of screen time that's allowed. Before I was doing the mindful parenting consistently, it was quite sort of all over the place, depending on how I felt, depending on all the things I had to do that day. Now it's a lot more consistent and it's just calmed the atmosphere. The children know the rules, they know what they can expect, they know what will happen if they don't follow the rules and it's just added a lot of calm. Mm. Just, just out of curiosity, how much screen time do you allow on a, on a daily basis? So for us, um, what we've decided on, I, I started with no screen time. I thought, oh, my, my children are not going to watch TV. And then, of course, pretty quickly I came back from that. So our rules are when my son, who's four years old, comes home from kindy, we sit down, we have a snack and a drink together, and then he gets to watch about 30 minutes of, of screen time just to give him that chance to calm down and right. to settle down and for us to start preparing dinner. So it's 30 minutes and it's every day. Yeah. So there's no battle around how how long or what time it's consistent Good. and he knows what to expect we don't have to think about what we want that day it's the same thing every day and that makes a big difference excellent good to know what about you Shirley I mean how has it changed your parenting or how have things change in your household um, oh I mean I could give you loads of examples but one really day-to-day -day one is um, when the kids um, are struggling to do something they just don't want to do like Oh, I don't know, tidy their room, do turn the dishes, the screen off, the dishwasher. go to bed, you know, really simple things that happen every day. And I used to get so frustrated because, um, because they're regular daily jobs, I've got five children, I spent a lot of my day frustrated. <laughs> and now through mindful parenting, the change for me is that I get it. I get the fact who wants to do jobs when they can have fun, who wants to tidy up, they don't, I don't. Mm. But because I don't expect them to want to, my whole approach has changed. And mm. so I now start with empathy, which just sounds like, of course you don't want to do this. It makes perfect sense. I wouldn't want to do it either. And it really sucks. 
but let's just get it done. And then often they do it. Sometimes I then need to add the boundary, which then stays seriously calm. So I just say, oh, I can see you really don't want to do this, but it's happening. Mm. And what comes from that is my voice doesn't go up. I don't join the fight. Their reactions have completely died down. And more often than not, they just get on with it. Yeah. And Mommy that's go really red in the face. changed. <laughs> Mummy doesn't go red in the mm. face. And when they still really fight, I've got a lot more energy for those yeah. because I'm not doing it all day, every day with all of them. I think we should all practice a little bit of mindfulness. That is really great advice. Thank yeah. you so much to both of you. And as always, don't forget to check out Nellie's All Natural Laundry Soda at nellies.com. Co.nz